It's Sunday, January 24th, 2021. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast, with Determine the Length, episode number 587. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, baby. Oh, who are these babies? <laughs> my feet hasn't caught up yet. It's still on the delay. Oh, my. Oh, there we go. I had to refresh. I got it to show. Um, although now it's got top shot. Damn it. I hate that. Anyway, go back to live yeah, shot. Thank so... you. <laughs> yes. Go so... ahead. <laughs> Here's the thing. For all those people <laughs> who are listening to the podcast, you should pop over to the video. <laughs> Just for a second. Just... Just to catch this little part. Yeah. I mean... For for those of Patreon, you have to like fast forward about thirty minutes. But mm-hmm. yeah, so you have this, <laughs> and you have this. Hi. You have this baby cubs, <laughs> and you have this daddy cubs. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no gray, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what did he no say? Gray. Black no crack. Some of us are <laughs> plucking every hair as it appears. So. Uh, honey. Oh, where's that shade coming from? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> no gray. No plucking of grays. Let's just get that story straight. Um, <laughs> so for and, those of you that and, are kind of unsure or curious or wondering what this is about, uh, happy 13th. Because whoop, whoop. 13 years ago, uh, a cub had a silly little idea and decided to start a podcast. Yeah. Um, this is this is this is what are you doing? <laughs> One second. Oh no, what are you doing? What? What? what are you doing? Going... I don't know, but your screen share is all messed up. Like, whatever you're doing is covering half the thing, so it's all right. Uh, nope, but it. I mean, it's supposed to only be showing sure, sure the, 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 the app, but apparently not. No, it, it does show the app. What it doesn't show is whatever you put over top of. So if you have a window that's overlapping. Yeah, I know. I I just think it should be showing the app in any case. Starting? Wait a second. Wait for it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the Bear Podcast of Indeterminate Length. It is Thursday, January 17th, 2008. I'm Jeff. I'm Jim. <laughs> wait, wait, let me go first. <laughs> uh, I'll edit this out in post. Okay, How about this? okay, let me go. I'm I'm John John, aka Kudzu Cub, and I'm Tim Cub. Yeah, so uh, that that's uh, that was our pilot episode. <laughs> wow, January seventeenth, two thousand eight. Wow. Yeah, it's scary. Because that's pretty much how we still introduce the show. Um, no, like it's, a, it's, an, it's a, <laughs> we, we do it a whole lot smoother. Oh, do we? 
<laughs> 13 years later, you know, it's not I mean, so at least good. We... Comparatively speaking, we do it a lot smoother. Sure, yeah. Sure. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, at least the introductions of the hosts is pretty succinct. Mm. Everything else is, is, is up for grabs. So I have yeah. a question. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. May I ask you a question? Jeff, can you put the other image up? Yeah, put the, the other image up. Okay. Uh, boom, boom. So wow. when, we, when we were so young, mm -hmm. um, 13 years ago, what was going on? Like, Damon, know, Damon knows kind of what I, I'm thinking of. Uh, if you could talk to young Jeff, <laughs> young Gary. <laughs> what, wow. What was, like, what was what was going on in our lives? As, as an example, this was four presidents ago for context. Wow. Yeah. Current president and then, like, Three yeah. others. The, yeah, I think, wow. yeah, so so it was uh, Bush. Uh, we we do talk about the uh, two thousand eight election, mm -hmm. which then goes mm. into Obama, then Trump. Now now we're at Biden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Like how many how many residents ago was right? this for you, Jeff? Mm -hmm. I mean. How many residents was this? Like, how many homes ago, or apartments, or? See, this this was from this exact picture was taken in uh, the house that I moved into when I moved down to Texas. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, back in October two thousand six, so I'd been there for just over a year. At the time this picture was taken, uh, I was. For lack of a better word, widowed for about mm -hmm. five months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm realizing. So this picture in particular comes from the um, Bears on a Run tour. Um, mm. Gary kind of would remember. Um, um, that was actually Rock Cub, um, Rock Cub and Kendall, mm -hmm. maybe, yeah, and Babalu doing like a tour around like all over the place, and I believe that was in 2008. Um, that's what. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna own. Um, the picture might be older than 2008. Because, but when I went to go look up the date, it said 2008 when it was where it was. So I'm assuming that that's when it was taken. Mm -hmm. But because I don't remember when the Bears on the Run tour was, because there's been so much that has happened since then. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it's about that's about the right time frame. Anyway, um, was it Shannon uh, Grady with the Bears on the Run? Shannon Grady was with Bear Palooza, which was. Kind no, of, I think he was Bears on the Run too. Maybe he was. Maybe. Um, anyway, because uh, I think when they were here in Austin, Shannon was here, and, and Kendall and mm -hmm. Jeff was here. Yeah. So I was still living in my apartment. Um, I was with Jim, um, but I've been with Jim seventeen years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I was working at my job. I was, if this is when I think it was, in 2008, I was probably still in my clerical job um, getting through, if that makes sense. Like, the job was busy, but consistent. Mm -hmm. So, and I was complacent because it was, it was work that needed to get done and I could get it done. And it was nine to five or whatever I was working at that time. 
and I would have my evenings and weekends free. And that was kind of my point. That was the point. Like I was getting the money that I needed to pay my bills. And um, yeah, I was I was definitely like just chopping at not, not really like looking to do much more than what I've been like what I was doing. I was mostly just like, let's get through the work week and enjoy my weekends, enjoy my time, blah, 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 at home in my apartment, da, da, da. That was the, yeah, gosh, I think, although I think 2008 was the year I think I joined. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that long ago. I'm thinking when I joined the board of the chorus, mm. and I don't think it was then. But yeah, yeah. It's so weird that that's 13 years ago. That doesn't feel right, but it 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 is. <laughs> <laughs> I was so young and naive at the time. Mm. Now I'm old and jaded. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, what's that? (laughs) (laughs) No, I didn't hear you. What? I said, I said, I said, speaking of old and jaded, Gary. Oh. (laughs) oh, oh, oh. (laughs) Double shade fan. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) um so yeah this so i had a hard time finding a picture this was so to let the the audience and the entourage know what happened before right before we were going to go live i was like hey do either of you happen to have like a pic headshot like um image of yourself from 13 years ago not knowing like the hunt it would take for us to go find a picture from monthly circa 2008 so I went online because I was like, I, I, I don't know if I have anything immediately available of myself. Um, so I decided to go searching. And uh, I did not join Facebook until 2009. Same. Oh. So I don't have anything that goes that far back in social media um, that I could easily spot. So then I was searching my external hard drive of old images um, and I went through like this, this like you know, journey emotionally about all this stuff, like thinking about about the things. This particular picture is from Drench for Four. Um, it is obvious when you were seeing this image of me in this gold uh, satin shirt, uh, mm. you know, with this um, mop of hair, that you couldn't tell me nothing, honey. Like <laughs> I was living in the moment yeah. and like you know, full of myself. Mm. And thinking back on that time, I was like, wow, like so much has changed since then. How little I knew what was about to take place um, that very next few days, the next weeks that year, um, something very specific happened. I don't want to get into it now, but um, and and like the, the journey of of other stuff to come. Um, I also like, so I started trying to like rack my brain and be like, okay, where would there be images of me from 13 years ago? What I was saddened by, like while I was searching, it was taking me so long was I went to, um, an organization that I used to be involved in for very many years. Um, I was involved with them. Oh, hell spells like for, you know, uh, 10 plus years, Mm -hmm. 13, 14, 15 years, maybe. Um, yeah, and uh, so I was really saddened when I went to their website to see that all the galleries are gone. Mm. So there's True. like there's no images, and I don't know where the archive is. I don't know, and I'm not a member currently, so I and I really don't. I can't say anything. Like I, my my criticism is deservedly outside of the bubble and biased. Mm-hmm. But as a former club member and as a former board member, as a former president, like I'm just – it kind of hurt me to see that the legacy of this group that has been around for over 25 years, that the current leaders are like, nope. Mm-hmm. Like we're not putting anything it's, that up. 
to see or to review. Or, and so I was searching through my own like archive of things, and I have some stuff from the club back then and, and other places. I went searching on Facebook, like, and the closest I could get was a year after this, I think, maybe, um, and some other places. So I had to go. So anyways, I went back, and I ended up using uh, an archive related to the run. And uh, was mm. this picture, but um, so yeah, it uh, it's very it's, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like you know when I was young and you you know, I was kind of full of myself. I was really at that time. I was really feeling um, empowered about what I was doing and mm -hmm. what was happening in my life. Um, I was feeling very successful um, on top of things, not knowing what the challenges were that were to come. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was a it was a very different time. Um, it was. I and was one residence yeah. prior and two two jobs ago, I think, maybe. Yeah. So uh, that's why I was asking about like like you know where we've lived and stuff because I was trying to think of like oh well I've been here for like going on eight years I believe it is um, maybe nine now and. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, like that would have been one residence ago. It would have been two jobs prior, I think. Mm. I think about it, because um, I have the current job that I got a year ago, the part-time job, mm -hmm. the part-time job, and then prior to that was the one I worked for, hell, uh, fifteen years, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was. Like, you know, I would... It was a. It was a different. Go ahead. Well, I was just saying, like I'm realizing, like after I. Wanted to check. I actually looked at my thank you Facebook for sharing all this information because I it helps me in some ways. You know, social media is a is a gift in some ways nowadays because it does help you kind of keep some things organized. For me, it's my work like history, believe it or not. Um, so it wasn't until 2011 that I made a change in work. For the first time, and from then I kind of kept going um, to where I am now. Um, I've had, oh gosh, while I've been with the same company, I have changed jobs one, two, three, four, five times. I'm on my fifth job since 20, 2008, technically. Fifth title, fifth, um, fifth title is probably the best way to put it. Um, similar jobs, but similar department this time around, especially this past year, mm -hmm. job has changed, um, considerably, um, cause of, um, um, everything that's going on with my company and everything that's been going on, you know, with the world. So, uh, job is a lot different, a lot more, um, engaging and it's keeping me busy in good and bad ways because it's just just a lot <laughs> mm -hmm. just a lot so yeah, yeah I, i've had like a shit ton of jobs i was kind of like cycling through but this is also <laughs> because i i don't have a degree so things get a little bit trickier by mm -hmm. the way uh, uh -oh. I'm going to show uh, everybody a, a little picture here. Ooh. The picture, it, and maybe I'll also post this in, in the show notes for everybody, but the picture I'm showing is JJ on the left. I'm, of course, I'm in the center. Uh, and uh, Tim Cub is, uh, Tim is uh, uh, on the right side there. These are the original hosts of Cubs Out Loud. Ah, now Tim Cub I recognize, but that's only because I've stalked him online, um, <laughs> slightly, not a lot, just just a tiny little bit. Just I found him on Twitter bit. of all the things. He got tagged. He tagged us. We tagged him. I think he tagged Cubs out loud. This was a, a few years ago. Mm. Um, he tagged us in a Twitter post or something. I don't even remember why it was like a way back throwback memory. I don't mm -hmm. know. And I was like, who this? And then I looked at the picture and I was like, and I might have, it might not have been the avatar. I might have gone searching through media images. And I was like, oh, I'm like, he's one of the original, like, like co-hosts of the show. So I like kind of follow him. He doesn't post a whole lot. 
um, from what I see. But yeah. Yeah, I've kind of lost track, track of him. He's, uh, I think he's in Kansas City now. I don't remember. I was going to say, he's in the Midwest somewhere. Um, I mean, I, I love the fact he's that in this moved. picture, he's wearing a lovely black biker's jacket because that's always a, a thing for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this this picture that I think he's shorter jump... than you, uh, Gary. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just prefer, running into that one. Oh, I mean, I prefer them taller, but I'm not sizes. Like it doesn't yeah, matter to me. Sure. Um, this is so this is this... also during a time when we actually went to see uh, uh, co-host of the uh, Psychic Power Hour, uh, Nikia. Uh-huh. Uh huh. At Eagles kind of here in Austin, Texas. So. Um. So I was just saying, do you recall like roughly how long into the podcast this image was? Like, was this in the first year or two years or? This was within the first year. This was November, wow. I think. I'm, I'm, let me look. I, I actually stole this from, from Facebook. <laughs> uh, it was at least posted to Facebook on November 7th of uh, 2008. Okay. Wow. So, yeah. So it was it was very soon, soon after we started. Uh, do keep in mind, we also have uh, some... Uh, if you go into this it comes out loud uh or col uh episodes list playlist and scroll all the way back down you can see some of our uh a uh, couple of shenanigans that we did um mm. there i'm gonna switch this back to our regular show <laughs> our old faces see us now yeah I, so I, I go from that that like perfectly dark beard and perfectly manicured to this schlub <laughs> with gray <laughs> through his entire beard. Is a <sighs> very big difference. I haven't changed my hairstyle. Too, too, too much, yeah. But you, my... you do your hair yourself, don't you? Yeah. Clippers. Yeah. Yeah, you just usually just like, yeah. No guard. Best haircut. Gary, what about you? I was just going to say, clearly from the picture to like now, <laughs> I mean, you're wearing a hat, but we, we know. Well, like he's that. had a glow up. I mean, come on. Look at the material. <laughs> I mean, it's just. Gary, you so look good. like. You look like. Uh, what's his name? I think he was. You look like one of the monkeys, I think. Go with, oh, like with the with the bowl kind of cut that he had on. Sort of like, I don't know if it oh, was for theme for the, for for that year or something, but um, no, there was not a theme at that time. I was just apparently growing my hair a little longer. Um, <laughs> I was just growing it out. Like that mop of hair was obviously like just me, me, me. You know, feeling breezy, beautiful in that moment. Because mm -hmm. um, I was just thinking, I'm like, God, how much has my hair changed? That because then a year later in 2009. Um, I dyed my, I got my hair bleached blonde, um, and I uh, went as Guy Fieri at a Halloween party in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, oh wow! So <laughs> it, it's been, it's been shorter, it's been longer, it's been bleached, it's been colored. Um, I went through like a Bob Seger long hair uh, phase back when we did the the retro um, year. Uh, mm -hmm. fur. so yeah it's been a bunch of things my beard length has been like it's been a goatee it's been a beard the beard has been longer it has been shorter it has been stubble um it has been not gray it has now gray <laughs> so get this since we're since we're like talking about age and all those kind of stuff recently at work several of my co-workers were shocked to find out how old i am oh and i was like what because they were like, wow, like, you know, it's really surprising. And I don't remember how they phrased it. Like, they, they it was complimentary, but it was one of these, like, they didn't know that I knew the certain of compliments. Things. Well, no, like, I had made reference to pop culture or something of an age. And they were like, well, you're not old enough to know that. And I was like, well, of course I am. And they're like, no. And they're kind of arguing with me, to which I thought, like, don't ever do that to people. <laughs> like, if people say they know something, they know something. Like, don't yeah, debate true. with them uh, about that. You'd be surprised um, with the kids these days. Well, and so I, they were like, you know, and I said, how old do you think I am? And they're like, oh, you know, like 39, 38. And I was like, oh, honey, that's so sweet of you. No. 
<laughs> no. I'm, I'm 47. <laughs> and they're like, what? And I was like, yeah, like, I'm I'm on the latter half of my 40s here, kids. Like, because I think what I was referencing is, is like, for the p- new job that I have now, I'm a lot older um, than what I would think this position should have for its goals. And that it, it isn't a problem. I'm just saying, like, I am not of a generation that this really position should be um, filled by, I think. And I'm not giving it up or anything. I'm just, like, observationally knowing what the mm-hmm. job's requiring. Like, I don't think a 47-year-old man trying to connect with 21-year-olds <laughs> is, mm-hmm. like gonna be you know uh easy so to speak um because all of my reference and everything is gonna be you know from a different time um and a different experience it's a whole absolute complete different generation Mm -hmm. um and this position isn't focusing on just like you know younger individuals it's actually you know all ages but um Mm -hmm. i realize in terms of technology and apps and things like that and software like i'm ahead of the curve with some other coworkers, but then again i'm not in other ways, um, because I just went, I attended an online uh, webinar uh, session about using social media for promotion and marketing and like making it a part of your work um, mm-hmm. in, involved with HIV. And the person posted all these great like uh, logos of all these items. And they said, how many can you name as quickly as possible? So these people were like typing in one at a time. You know, and I was like, why are they enter- like, why are they hitting enter after every one? Like I just strung them all together. So I was like Twitter, Tumblr, you know, and and Instagram and, you know, um, Pix apps and, you know, and all these different things. And the, and the, it was gay dating apps and all this stuff. <laughs> and um, and so the host was like, oh, and, he, and because in the in the webinar, my full name is visible, at least my first and last name, um, you know, because it's professional. They like, you know, they comment on my paragraph <laughs> mm-hmm. about all the stuff and and some of them i didn't recognize like and it and it that's what made the impact to me was like okay i'm older like i don't even know some of the stuff yet i feel like i started to t- try to stay in touch so mm-hmm. yes um so it was uh it was one of those interesting moments that i've been a little reflective of and so anyways my coworkers were like you're how old i was like yes girl i'm closer to retirement than you think um <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm planning on doing it anytime soon but yeah so it was a very different time so you know I've had uh that was also a, a good um I'm gonna go in the range of like uh 80 to 100 pounds ago yeah we're gonna own that <laughs> for sure well, um, we're, we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> I, I am because my weight is my weight has fluctuated i'm like kind of at the biggest that i am right now you know and it's it's something that's constantly on my mind and i'm trying to um, agree that, did, make that some... does look like uh, like a little lighter gary oh honey not a little like, like <laughs> it's enough it's enough to be another person Let's be honest. Oh, um, oh, oh no! They they would be yeah. they would be a skinny twink, or they would you know be a smaller person, perhaps a child. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so but it's another person to go. It's a, it's another person to go. Like yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah like. And I had I mean and to be fair, yeah. the, the history of this podcast, like four or five years ago, I had like um, gone on a, a diet program and had lost you know a significant amount of weight. Um, thing, and then had, you know, the yo-yo effect or Life. whatever. Well, because I, to be fair, like I grew tired of it. Like I followed that program for like over nine months, and mm-hmm. I realized it sounded like complaining, which it was. Um, it was it was highly restrictive. Um, it was monitored by a physician. I was very happy with it, but I just. I grew tired. It was limiting, mm-hmm. and so I kind of, you know, decided to to stop that or whatever. And yeah, um, if I went on the program I had gone on a while back, I just I think about it every now and then, and every time I think about it, I go, God, it was so, it was good, but man, did it just suck overall, just in regards to just everything that you have to do. And everything that needs to be done and everything that kind of goes into it. And I get it that that's kind of the whole point, but man. I'm on the seafood diet. Just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just, 
but at the same time, I know, like, I think we all can agree, like, as we, you know, we're all older, like, let's just be honest with each other. Um, we do, we should start at least, if not c continue, as it were, focusing on our, you know, at least physical, watching, what type of physical health. Watching, yeah. You know, the, the, not, uh, yeah. Just, the, you know, putting a little thought into yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. Yeah. You know, just yeah, just looking the uh, looking at that picture and then kind of going through some older fix, you know, because you know this was I don't know I don't I don't think this was the exercise, Gary, but like I start looking at pictures and I'm looking at all these like oh I'm like wow these are this is so long ago it feels so weird then you're like oh yeah it has been like ten years or twelve years or in this case thirteen years since you've seen that picture you're like wow I look I I. I will. I will say I don't feel I necessarily look look different. I just I know that things have changed. Mm -hmm. Am I, it, what, could I pass for that? Oh gosh, forty one minus thirteen, um, thirty whatever. No, wow, well, yeah, no, twenty something. Yeah, twenty something year old guy that was then probably not so much now. You know, twenty nine. Um, yeah, I, I know because 20, I was twenty eight that year. I was I, I was actually twenty seven in that photo because I hadn't turned twenty eight yet. Yeah. Um. Anyway, like, you know, could I pass for that now? Probably not. Like, let's just like, while yes, black doesn't crack as they say. Um. It does still age. Like let's 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 <laughs> like I don't I don't look like I'm twenty. I'm not in my twenties. Like I could not pass for a twenty year old now. I could probably pass for thirties, maybe even early thirties. But still <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not I know I'm not passing for twenties. You know, I just know. And um I don't even I mean I would like I, I I give props to your to your coworkers for like thinking like you you were you were in your thirties, but um, I mean you've always mentioned that they're also some of them are a little older too, mm -hmm. so maybe eh, that could have something to do with it. Not to be like shady, but like well no 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 it's, 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 facts are facts they are not alternative some of them are much closer yeah. to, to retirement than i am so <laughs> yeah yeah you know and... when, they, when they've got seven to ten years on me yes mm. Mm -hmm. yes and, uh, and, and to be fair gary you could look like you're you're in the 30s because like compare our beards yeah well like, uh, that mine was, is that was the mine is thing. like super gray and yours is like gray here and then maybe some strands here so it's well that's that's the ironic thing is when they when people had said about how old i was and i was like do you do you oh, not honey. see this like it's just hello like oh and we've like, been through uh, this we're all in our 40s <laughs> so um like yeah like i mean i i remember and it's interesting how things manifest in your life i remember when i was in junior high school and um, there was a substitute teacher who had a beard. His last name was Shunk. But he had mm -hmm. a white stripe in his beard, but it was off center. It was like on the side, like not past like, you know, where the edge of the lips are, but it wasn't centered. It was like off to the side, but it was like white. It wasn't gray. It was white. And it was just like, and it was, it was like a stripe and a pattern and everyone behind his back, unfortunately, called him Mr. Skunk. <laughs> um, and I remember thinking to myself, like, oh, when I get older, I'm hoping that, like, my hair um, color change is, like, satisfactory, I guess, to me. You know, granted, yeah, I was yeah. in junior high, so I was an asshole. Um, <laughs> you know, I was young. I was a teenager, you know, so my life experience was shit. Um, you know, and so I, you know, was being very vain and egotistical at the time. I was like, oh, I hope, you know, that, like, when I get older, if that were to happen to me, like, it would have bothered me that it was off-centered. Like, I would have been like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, genetics? Like, come on. Um, <laughs> so That's the fact when you that... would actually go to dye your beard <laughs> to even think that or screw eh. it. I've seen way too many men that dye their, their hair and it drives me nuts um, because normally it doesn't <laughs> look good. 
Um, it's too dark. It's too unnatural. Hair has multiples of colors in it. It doesn't matter who you yeah. are. Very rarely is your hair consistently one solid color. It's usually yeah. only a minimum of three shades that blend together to give you a color. And that's the problem with dyeing your hair because it just doesn't it doesn't it go does well it all over one color. Yeah. Um, so um, anyways, like I'm surprised. My point is I'm surprised as I got older that like I have this I don't want to call it a chin uh, stripe. But yeah, it's it's definitively kind of in this area. So um, and, you know, <laughs> You grade okay. well. I've been I've been blessed so far with how things are going, um, you know, and I, and even if it wasn't to my styling, it, what am I going to do about it? Really? So yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, there's a part of me that almost wants just a little bit of gray, just to kind of show the age, just a little bit, because. You just don't have you know. enough hair to, to to gray. Well, that's sort of the thing too. Like y'all, um, as we've I've mentioned several times on this show, um, this is where my hair grows, like right on my mouth, right here, and this here that I've got this this luxurious, luxurious long like um, chin strap of a of a of a goatee here. Um, I have not trimmed this in, I want to say, eight, nine months. Like, I don't I do not do much to this. Mm -hmm. I may trim it every once in a while. I do cut, like, the little hairs that sometimes peek out. There's some, I feel, right now that are still here. Still here. Um, I do kind of trim these off because I don't get enough hair to do anything even close to a beard. So <laughs> there's no point in keeping it on my face. Um, and, you know, and then I, I, you know, I normally keep my hair low on my face, on my head. So, uh, but even with the full, like when I, like, you know, I kept the, uh, a wrap on it during later year, like last year. But normally when my hair is, grown out it's still all black like i don't have any gray my brother um i don't think i have any gray in my head either um my brother went gray early on like like in high school he had a spot of gray and he has since gone like grayer since so it's if if it's they normally say it's your mother's father that you should base your hair on um, if that's the case, I know what's going to happen, and it might be a while before I get um, full on gray, if any, um, which I'm kind of yeah, I know about, but eh. <laughs> I, I see you, Damon, since we're having the discussion about hair color, um, and, and aging, I see you, uh, in the years to come when your hair does change color. I see that as like most likely it will it will it will look really good. Um, I don't know how else to say it. Like I, I just some people age really well with with like their color and they kind of and it looks distinguished. Like it looks mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. a specific kind of and I'm like, wow, all right then. Yeah, you know, like it like, just yeah. Like I looked at my dad. Like I, I'm, I'm not gonna talk. About, like I look at my dad, and I look at my grand, my granddad on my mom's side. I am good. Like I'm just gonna say it right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, um, um, I just, I, I foresee it being a nice, like, very, like, like you said, very distinguished kind of look once it happens, when it happens, um. I know I'm like thinning on the top here, like in the corners here. Um, and there's a part of me that may eventually do the shaved head, which I'm kind of liking the idea. Cause I like that, that smooth head kind of feel. That's just me personally. That's just an idea for me. But Well, you usually keep it like super short anyway. I keep it like very I low. Do, I so. keep it, keep it short anyway. Um, so I got my haircut last week. Um, and so this is like a week's of 
growth, I'm going to bend down a little bit. And so there's very little, you can barely, like I'm pretty much bald. Um, cause I go really low cause I don't plan to get my hair cut for another like few months. Like that's my usual thought is I let it cut real low all around, grow a few months, go and get it cut again. Da, 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 wash, rinse, repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Damon, Damon and I have a have the same philosophy on hair. Yeah, it's just the, the only difference is I cut my own. <laughs> yeah, whereas I don't I have the coordination to do it. I, I, I don't think I could go that. completely bald. Like I would still kind of need. I I I I still like having the the stubble and the the like presence of hair. It's just it can be like super super short. Short, and I have this weird what looks like I'm balding, but I swear to God, my hairline has always been like this. <clears throat> so it looks like I, I'm having that that male hair baldness, pattern baldness, but, mm-hmm. but yeah, but I swear to God, it hasn't changed in my entire it's life. It's just, just your hair thing. Yeah, it's just when I had it longer, it wasn't as noticeable because. It was being covered by mm. the top hair, so so it's hard to tell. Mm. It's not like I've actually been measuring; it just doesn't seem like it's changed. So, well, and I think that's you know, it's difficult to see the difference, um, especially when it's uh, yourself. Like one of the first things we were talking about, like in these older pictures of ourselves, is to go back and look and be like, "Whoa, okay, like." Because I, I honestly was like, wait, what was I doing 13 years ago? Where was I in my life? You know, what was happening? How many experiences ago was that? Um, how many friendships ago? Whatever. And I was like, hmm, that's some time ago. But like, kind of, I think, David, you were making reference to the fact that like, you know, um, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. But then when you look at the pictures, you're like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's been 13 years. Like you could see the the distinction, the difference through time, um, uh, of what that is. So yeah, I uh, I don't know. I didn't, a lot. Of, there's so much that has happened in since the inception, since the beginning of the podcast that I um never thought about or imagined or considered. Um, and for certain, I'm gonna say most people 99 percent plus of the people in the world did not imagine 2020 and what happened in the past year so you're muted damon that's why you can't hear me uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm getting old i just realized i didn't push mute um um it's so true like i don't think any of us well let's if we think about it, you know, maybe there was a pandemic response team that was created in, you know, Obama's administration that may have potentially planned for 2020 properly, but we're not going to go into that. Um. <laughs> uh, fun fact, in, in, in March, we, we would be nine years into the next generation. Oh, wow. Nine years. Fuck. It's been nine years since I was on the show. March 4th, 2012 was when uh, TNG 001, the next generation alpha that was, was, a, uh, was aired, posted. Holy shit. Want to take a listen to that? Mm, sure. <laughs> <laughs> See, normally this is things that Damon looks up. Sadly, because it was on the website, I can't skip. No, I'm not really. You're still at the same. Okay. I'd put everything I, back the way it was. 
I didn't change anything. Does it? You, you, did, wait a minute. Did you went wired now? No. Okay, so you're still wireless. This yeah. is an alpha episode. Okay. Sorry, we were kind of late testing. Here. Here. <laughs> I... We're still in your apartment. At this you time. might even go into your audio setting to see where. Mm hmm. <laughs> and Skype. Maybe the, yeah, maybe the gain just went down or something. It's set for automatic adjustments or something. See, yours yeah. just went. Yours just. So apparently, we started that uh, that alpha episode uh, as uh, just test your equipment. What's better than testing equipment and chatting about bear runs and much more? <laughs> Let's go a little further in. Oh Loading. God. Loading. saw him and literally every time I would say hello to him and I would talk to him and I would, you know, make the kind of moves to kind of get something yeah. and he it'd just be like like I wasn't even there. Not even not, not I wasn't there, it's just like a hello and and very passive and very just like I'm not I'm not interested at all. I am. And it's just like what? What what's the what's the problem? What's going on? Why aren't you interested? I don't know. I don't know at well, all. And, 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 and you know, but then you have, <laughs> then you'll have those oddball surprises. Mm. Um, you know, like for example, in 2002, that was the year after I did my adult videos. Mm. As Jules Hammer. <laughs> As Jules Hammer. As Jules, yes. You may, you may call me Jules from now on. Anyways. Wow. Okay, so I will say this. In almost nine years, David, your attitude has not changed. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a read. That is the T. <laughs> T stands for truth, children. And <laughs> we're, we're, we're sipping that tea. You may have I... seasoned. You may have mellowed. Um, you, may, <laughs> you may not be as like quick triggered like to, you know be upset about something but yeah you've got is, better audio <laughs> i mean that's that 100 percent. okay so <laughs> we figure out the audio about, thing let's talk about the journey of technology in, with the podcast because i remember what i joined many 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 times uh us having audio issues oh yeah skype yeah. and internet connections mm -hmm. uh microphones yeah yeah um i will i mean me trying to record the show from a a, a a 2006 uh black macbook yeah I'm and they would keep overloading of... i would go overload mm -hmm. I we'd have to overload. pause the show <laughs> to get it back up again and we would continue wow. where we left that's true. I forgot about that. I remember overloads. I also remember um, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, my first, I think for the longest time I was using um, the camera on my laptop only. Mm -hmm. And, and well, that, I think I had, I, eventually, yeah. I think I eventually bought a headset, but um I'm pretty sure I wasn't using anything that I'm using now. Like I'm in HD. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got this like headset that has a you know that has a, that's a USB port as opposed to two like like I think my original one had like the two audio video or audio and speaker like that went into the um, computer oh, yeah, both the, both of them. The three Jack, and a half, yeah, the, uh, the three and a half uh -huh. millimeter mm -hmm. male, yeah, thing. yeah. Um, I had, I mean, I now have this wonderful. I mean, I got this myself, but like this wonderful ring light that now, I mean, how this is a new thing. <laughs> like really? you can actually really see me. <laughs> well, you you also have to remember, we also went from audio to mm -hmm. video. True. 
true audio and video but you know I how many years Jeff, has that been that we went pretty much like because the technology changed and the that software you used to do use um we couldn't use anymore that yeah. we switched over to to doing youtube uh it's got to be audio do you years. know I'm thinking it's probably like four years now, maybe three. God. <laughs> Here we go. Looking that's a fun. Up. I mean, mm. well, I mean, if, if we that look just at goes the to CML show episodes, uh, when we start doing like consistent video episodes, is when we when that happens. Right. That's what I'm kind of trying to find now, if I can get to it. Oh, lovely! Yours is gonna take forever to load. And that's that's what I mean, like the change in technology and and things over the years. Because um, when I joined, yeah, it was audio only, and it was just a bunch of us. Uh, and I can't remember if we were always using Skype. I know we used Google Hangouts at a certain point, but I can't recall if that's we I, we used Google Hangouts a lot uh, when we were still doing audio and. Uh... First, it started off with just the power hours. Oh, that's right. And then uh, eventually, and and yeah. it was the power hours and any time that we had uh, Daddy Hadrian on. And uh, we would do, um, uh, yeah, Cubs Against Humanity and stuff. Mm. And then when, like, our, when we did, um, I'm um, just as I'm looking when we did tea time, um, drag race tea time, Gary, uh -huh. um, we did those through Hangouts, so those became videos as well. Very, very interesting. Um, oh my, here we go. I think this might be where we started. Oh, this is taking forever. Come on. Now let's see how well we can stream this shit. Uh oh. And I'm going to do these sounds for the first time. There we go. <laughs> yeah, back in 2000 or 2017. Mm. So going yeah. on four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. This was before sense. we ended up getting the, the fancy overlays and all this. And then eventually uh, the way we had to, I had to like do the setup and everything changed. And now it's actually really, really nice comparatively speaking to what it was. Now we each have our own little boxes. Yeah. Before it was just me like trying to just manipulate things on the screen to kind of like get it so you see me but you then you see see like the skype window <laughs> it was us trying to make it work <laughs> what it was it is and, it's very true and i think as we have you know learned and grew and evolved and changed we've we've gotten a lot better i think at predicting or maybe not predicting but at least you know um coming up with things that work as opposed to like holy shit we need to like arms flailing you know <laughs> like well we can't use this program anymore or um we know hangouts isn't a thing anymore first of all like that's my big thing but like we now have to figure out how to what how to do what we were doing without taking too much away from what we are doing um, which is kind of i mean it's you know growing we're still we can very easily say we're not professionals <laughs> we're doing this as we go along <laughs> um i could say for to, to be blunt and honest i could not like produce this show <laughs> i couldn't get the no. things that we have going on i, I wouldn't even like, trust you yeah i don't i i'm gonna be i don't care like I, I, I'll, I'll be honest like no like i like, I'll, I'll just be a personality i will be i am here to to 
to spill to tea look pretty. and and be pretty <laughs> <laughs> and and write and get the tags and and offer my critiques. We have our we, we each have our roles. Yeah, we we each have our roles. Shade. Yeah. And cuz I it was I remember um there was a point in time cuz I think I still have it on my computer. Did I get OBS? There was a point in time when are you here? Or did I delete it? I know. Oh, nope, there it is. Okay. There was a point in time when um I downloaded OBS because there was it was I think we had issues with like both of y'all's computers or something like that. There was something messed up, like something had happened and it was like we need to do something. And I was like, well, what can I do? So I was like, well, at least I can download OBS and see what I can do. And I downloaded OBS and I opened it up and I was like, nope. <laughs> I, went, I went and I looked at it and I'm like, I, um, let's, let's say a little prayer. <laughs> and hope that whatever is going on gets cleared up because I I don't I don't even I wouldn't even know where to begin. And I mean it might be possible, but that would be just it would just be a lot of like just a lot. And I don't I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. And I'm just gonna say it right now. I don't think I could. And thank you, Jeff, and thank you, Gary, for what you do. <laughs> and um cause You appreciate us. I appreciate it. And I'm sure our listeners appreciate it. Um and and, and, and I appreciate uh, you because I am terrible at tags. I am terrible at writing the intros. Yeah. I can, I, can say them that... all I want. I did have to hire somebody for Drag Race, but... <laughs> well, you needed, the, you needed the right, you know, amount of... Of, 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 um, of sass and... Flavor. Of flavor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um... So one of the things uh, I think as we're kind of moving to to get wrapped up is uh, I don't want to give away anything, mm. but uh, I'm curious to know because um, this is kind of a teaser. Y'all ready to be teased? You want to be mm. edged? Mm. Um, so I sent to the two of you an image, actually a couple images, um, okay. of some potential artwork. Oh, that's uh, right. yeah. Yeah, that I don't want shared, just so Jeff knows. Um, <laughs> because an idea came to me this morning about this new shirt idea. If we think we want to move forward with it, I think it would be nice if we made this patron exclusive at first. Mm. And then mm. and then we like went public with it at, at a certain time. Mm. A little later. Um so, but, and I, and I'm going to be, I'm going to admit I'm very biased. I'm very full of myself on this one. Um, <laughs> because it came to be like, I, like I'm, I'm, I'm very much taking this from something else. Um, but I was so like tickled and pleased and giggled. Like when I thought of it as a shirt idea, I was like, oh, that's fun. Um, and like is most likely a shirt meant for events which will come back eventually um at a certain point fair you both are being really yes. quiet like so sorry i realize I'm, I'm putting very, you on I'm... the spot <laughs> i i i like i uh girl um i'm i i agree like this is not a like Oh, um, I'm just gonna wear this to the market. I'm just gonna, you well, know, no, no, no. you can. This. You can. I mean, you could. You probably could, but you might have some explaining. <laughs> Maybe some. If someone uh -huh. looks into it. So yeah, you might have some. You might get some looks. You might get some good looks, depending on where you're at. Um, <laughs> Might be at Home Depot and 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 could score a little BJ in the bathroom. Like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like, I don't know. Like, you do you, if that's you. Um, <laughs> but, you know, other than that, uh, I don't, you know. Yeah, a runs, the events, I can see myself wearing this at a... Uh, um, at a at a at a at a contest, um, our our other like leather you know kink events. I could see it being a thing to do. Uh, it's very thirst uh, filled. Oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. And the problem with that is there's no. Oh, problem. I'm not saying there's a problem. I'm just stating facts here. <laughs> I have not mentioned a negative. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> I have not said don't. <laughs> I am saying, there is no no in this. Yeah, there is not a no. <laughs> there might be an oh my, but there is not a no. <laughs> oh Ooh. to the truck stop. Um, mm. so that's so the, that's another one. Because the reality that's... is it doesn't fur food so that's why i think you could wear it anywhere like most people would probably not pay much attention to it um the challenge comes in when you're wearing it out in public at a non msm non bear like uh event activity and someone asks you about the shirt there it lies i think where the challenge is because then they would be like oh that's a fun shirt like where did you get that from or what's it mean or mm -hmm. what's it referencing so that's 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 I mean there it lies I think the because like it's happened to me a couple of times now interestingly um uh, where it's twice now I've been with my best friend and we this is pre pandemic um we were out somewhere and someone saw like either I was wearing a hat sweatshirt t shirt something and they were like oh what's up what's comes out loud and I'm like Arr! like <laughs> <"Arr!"> <laughs> like not someone I would expect to ask the question. Um, in both cases, the two that I'm thinking about, it was a, a person that represented themselves uh, as male, um, younger. And so, and the thing is, is that <laughs> my best friend is, and I don't think they were being shady. They were like, they were like, um, oh, you know, Gary, you should tell them all about it. Like, <laughs> and I'm just like, because they're, because like I think to them they're proud of the fact that like I co-host this podcast and I've been doing it for so long. So to them it's just a part of my identity. It's like it's just a given. Like why wouldn't I talk about it? Yeah. But I don't walk around in the world. You know what I mean? And use it as a calling card. Really. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't talk about it that way much. Like I kind of feel that way about even like with the the bear run over all the years of doing that. Um, you know, like several often people would be like, oh, ooh. like and they would immediately introduce me as connection to the event. And I, like I had to go on a whole psychological journey for that because people would introduce me that way. And I'd be like, I'd be like, this is not the only thing I do. Like, I wouldn't say that in the moment, but that would be my feeling. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more of a person than just this one slice. And when I get introduced, it's like it depends on the context of the people. So the examples I'm talking about, though, are like in public at a grocery store, getting gas, restaurant, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, and I'm not thinking anything about the podcast and then suddenly someone's like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, uh, who are you? What's so this? it's a pod, so it's a podcast. It's kind of like <laughs> talk radio for the internet. Um, and it is a very know. niche one. <laughs> and so I, you know, say something along the lines of like, Let's um, just do a little tap dance around the subject about bears have sex. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I, I, I mean, it's it's come up even like, uh, like it's like when I'm trying to, uh, I'm talking to people. It's like, well, I got my podcast that I have to do uh, that I do on Sundays, and then they ask, uh, "Oh, what's it about?" And uh, and I have to. Specific, this is a lot ends up happening. This has happened like a few times at work. I was like. Okay, let me make this clear. You probably don't want to listen to it. <laughs> okay? And and, and it, it this isn't just me being like trying to like I would love people to listen to it. It's just this is probably not in your billywick. It is very very uh, a niche is the bear podcast of indeterminate length. I, then I have to define what a bear is. I say say the simplistic way of saying it is a husky, hairy, and homosexual. 
there's more to it than that, but you get the idea. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it, it's very NSFW. So when I'm referring to my work, this is definitely not safe for work. This is something that's nothing to do with work. <laughs> you well, probably don't want to I, watch it. We talk about things that probably was work appropriate. Just, 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 just stay away from it. Right. Not, if not it's if it's your thing, sure. But I warned you. <laughs> well, I mean, for instance, like I had to. I was explaining. Um, uh, I was talking about the bear run because we're actually in the midst of um, some contract stuff. And so uh, dealing with people who have not had to deal with the event before, they were like, so tell us about it. You know, and uh, it amuses me because immediately what pops to mind is um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, <laughs> and the reason why is because of that line where they're like, tell us about it, Janet. Like, you know, this, this, <laughs> you know, like you're on the spot. You're like, okay, I got to have to talk about it. So I, and because it's a professional business relationship, you know, I like, I, I back up explaining things to find out where the base is. So I tell them, you know, I'm like, well, uh, I don't know if you're aware, but in the LGBTQ plus community um, amongst, uh, you know, uh, men, um, you know, uh, I don't say MSM, but I say, you know, amongst um, the the male members of the community, there are different subsets, and one of them is referred to as bears. And I was sh uh, shocked, honestly, when the one of the two people that we're having this discussion with goes, oh, I know all about them. And I was like, clink, clink, clink. I was like, oh, okay. Um, and this is on a conference call, and I can't see them. It's just audio. Uh, and they're like, oh yeah, my brother, blah, 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 and all this stuff. And I was like, okay, like, welcome to 2021, I guess. Like, what was I expecting? Um, you know, and I said, anyways, you know, but it's this, you know, social weekend, blah, 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 this and that. Uh, it was, it was quite comical. So yeah, I try to, I try to set a baseline, assess like what they need to know and then go from there. A gradual introduction to it. Yeah. Damon, you're muted again. I just went, oh my. Um, oh. Sorry, I am I'm looking at my memories. It's so weird. Um, apparently, Randy Remo, four years ago, put his Alternative Facts um, song up. Mm. If you remember that. If you remember that shit. And that's four years ago. Yeah. Like, it's like, I'm like, fuck. It feels so weird. Oh. Mm. Anyway. Anyway. So yeah, so as we wrap up here, uh, there is a new shirt design um, in consideration at the moment, uh, and if we go with it, I like the idea that I just brought on you guys that um, perhaps we make it exclusive to patrons Patreon. to start, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, because a bunch of them are owed some stuff. So I think mm -hmm. if they would like um, to get the new shirt uh, oh, design, else. Um, I have to figure out how we would go about doing that because I'm pretty sure, Jeff, when we load something to the website, it makes it public when it gets approved, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, that's the only hiccup I think at the moment is I don't know how mm. we... Unless we use a different well, method. Well, I mean, I could... Well, I we have, we, we I... could talk about the logistics offline, but... Yes. Um, yeah. I'll turn it back. <laughs> so sorry but that's a an, an idea uh for something that we could we could end up doing mm -hmm. um next week is our what's going on for the month of january um and then um i'm pretty sure we've got a bunch of things locked in for the next few weeks coming up uh yeah and uh we got uh, we got contacted recently actually about um oh. having a return guest person um Ooh. let me go back to inbox primary um Ooh. so yeah we mm -hmm. got plans we have Gary, plans gary's got plans and because gary's the one that I will, takes care yeah. of all this stuff which and we I appreciate him very 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 very, very, very much yeah i will say i think one of the things over the you know, years that has been beneficial, 
you know, everything I, I'll put it, I kind of like kind of go in perspective. Um, I don't know what happened prior to TNG. So I'll, I don't know that, all of that. Right. I'll leave that. I'll leave that to you, Jeff. But since TNG, um, everything that has kind of happened has been through, like, I will say it, like through the host and, and producers kind of coming up with ideas and suggestions and, and bringing things to the table that may not have been there previously. Um, you know, the doc that we use, if I'm remembering correctly, was actually Eric's template. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. yes. So that's, you know, one big thing that we started using. It helped keep us a little bit more on task. I mean, not always, but, you know, for the most part, it was it was an attempt to keep us on task and in time. A little bit of um, organization, yeah. Yeah, to keep more organization. And I think with each, you know, host that has co- some who have come and gone, but with each host, we have learned to try to keep as succinct as possible as I look at the counter and we're at two hours. But um, um, but again, like the idea of organization and ideas and shows and what we produce and what we put out there um, is... Also, I think in some ways, thanks to our listeners, you know, believe it or not, we do listen to you guys. And if when you come up with ideas and you give us suggestions, for the most part, we can we try to run with it and we try to come up with something that we could potentially do. So thanks to those who do offer us feedback and do talk to us. And um, if you can call and, you know, we'll listen to your messages or send us the email or if you're part of the you know, entourage chats or if you're a patron, like all of those things are, are your ways and your methods of getting us information to kind of help us keep going. And I, I will admit, we pro- yeah, we wouldn't, I don't think we would really be fully the show that we are if it wasn't for them. So thank you. And thanks to 13 years of of, of an indeterminate length bear related content. <laughs> Ding. Big, long, floppy, sloppy lengths of. <laughs> wow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That me. <laughs> you went in a whole different direction. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, it's so nice!" Like David's helping us be, you know, accountable, like and loving and giving gratitude. And I was like, "Yeah, it's kind I mean, of like could, a, it's like could, I was going in the direction that it was a relationship." <laughs> so, like, it's been over a decade. Like, if if when this podcast had started and children had been made. You know, like they would be teenagers now. Um, <laughs> that's where I was going with it, and then, like, you just, you Big just go did, you just it, did that. Damon went from friends to friends with benefits. Yep. Uh, uh hella benefits from the sound. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Well, there you go. Gonna but make you me know, walk funny for sure. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Thanks. I, don't, I don't know about you, but I think there's plenty of ways they can contact us. Mm-hmm. You know, they could go to our website, comesoutlaw.com. You can shoot us an email, it comes out at gmail.com. Leave us voicemail at 361 CLL Talk. That's 361 265 8245. Find us various social media outlets such as Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. It comes to in the appropriate place of the URL. Um, I mentioned the Entourage chat, which you can get to at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash col. You can subscribe to our Google Calendar, where when we have these planned, we'll post when we're planning and recording them at tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col. You get merchandise such as hats, shirts with different logos on it. That's at Zazzle. Slash cups out loud. Become a patron. Maybe possibly get a brand new t-shirt before anybody else does. Patreon.com slash cups out loud. You can 
send us some cash if they want to at paypal.me slash cubs out loud they can rate and subscribe to us on apple Podcasts, spotify google play amazon and audible and uh you can find me anywhere on the internet is box set box puppy box cup box something or other and windjim w-y-n-d-g-e-m on twitch mm-hmm. Uh, if you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me on most bear-related sites as TheaterCub79 um, or on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GareBear73. And with that, happy 13th, everybody. Happy 13th. Ciao for now.